सुप्रभात और गुड मॉर्निंग लेट अस स्टार्ट दिस एंड लेट अस स्टार्ट विथ व्हाट प्रोजेक्ट है <coughs> अब क्वेश्चन आता है कि सर ये है क्या चीज प्रोजेक्ट टाइप ठीक है सबसे पहली बात तो यही बात करनी है ना तो मैं तो मतलब फिजिक्स के हिसाब से देखा जाए तो मतलब प्रोजेक्टाइल मतलब बोला बारूद मतलब मान लो यहाँ पे मैं बैठा हूँ आई एम सीडिंग इन इंडिया एंड आई वॉन्ट टू डिस्ट्रॉय बिजिंग सो वट आई विल फायर अ बजूका एंड दैट बजूका विल फॉलो सम पाथ दैट पाथ इज कॉल्ड एज प्रोजेक्टाइल सो इट्स बेटर टू डिफाइन वट इज कॉल्ड अ प्रोजेक्टाइल पाथ ओके सो to talk about that i'll take one example let's take one example like here is my james anderson you know james anderson yes he bowls very fast isn't it and he is the like the best bowler hai bhai apna bolta hai ki what is a projectile basically like a body which moves in a two dimensional plane it's written in which kind of a plane two dimensional plane in the gravitational field of earth is called a projectile any part any body which will move in the two dimensional plane in such a way then it is called as projectile like a cricket ball thrown by a player but not rolling on the ground void or not like if i'm just throwing it i'm just bowling it void or not second point is like have you seen na matlab jaise maan lo mere ko maarna hai kisi ko like mai mai gaya mai matlab kisi se ke सौरभ मिश्रा को उड़ाना चाहता हूँ सौरभ मिश्रा के घर को घर को तो मैंने सोचा यार एक काम करते हैं फ्लाइट से बॉम्ब गिरा देते हैं ना ठीक है तुम लोग जाके वीडियो दिखा मत देना ओके सो व्हाट आई थॉट लेट्स ड्रॉप अ बॉम्ब लेट्स सपोज हियर इज माय दैट एस गाय फोम एंड आई एम ड्रॉपिंग अ बॉम्ब ओवर सो इट विल ट्रेवल लाइक दिस वे एंड इट विल हिट द टारगेट सो दिस इज ऑल्सो काइंड ऑफ प्रोजेक्टाइल मोशन अ बॉम्ब ड्रॉप फ्रॉम एन एरोप्लेन flying at some height go ahead or not last thing you might have seen those videos where a person is fired from a bazooka and it travels somewhere and it falls on the trampoline have you seen this or not yes guys dekhe ho na are koi to jawab do tipes grand samya yes par tum log pompi pompi khol ke baithe rehte ho na ki matlab ऐसे ही मतलब बैठ जाते हो ठीक है ओके ओके तो देखो तो अपन अपन देख सकते हैं कि मींस द पार्टिकल्स लाइक दिस मींस जैसे कि अपन के पास मतलब ये हरदम सिचुएशन याद रखो कि प्रोजेक्टाइल ऐसा चीज है कि जो टू डायमेंशनल में चलेगा मींस द प्रोजेक्टाइल इज काइंड ऑफ अ पार्टिकल प्रोजेक्टाइल विल बी समथिंग Which will always be in the two-dimensional plane, and it will follow some kind of a path, which will be kind of parabolic in nature. And then we call those kind of particles as projectile motion. Right or not? Or we can say that those particles are specifically called as projectile motion. So let us understand that how many types of projectile are there. Like many kind of motions are uh, motion under gravity, like just downward motion. Okay. So not only Uh, throwing of the particle, but also this kind of motion is also called as projectile, like just downward motion. Then a combination of upward plus downward motion. Got it. And then a combination of upward plus downward. plus horizontal is the main task where we have to study this right or not see you can categorize over here ojaswini aniska jagke hai yeah. kya abhi bhi so rahi hai babu bala ojaswini abhi bhai to see to dhyan se dekho अपन के पास एक सिर्फ आई हैव ओनली वन डाउनवर्ड मोशन व्हिच यू हैव स्टडीड अपवर्ड प्लस डाउनवर्ड मोशन आल्सो आई मेड यू गाइस स्टडीड बट देन राइट नाउ
but then if we have a combination of upward plus downward plus horizontal motion then this part we have to study right now word of and that is only called as projectile motion what it so let us have a quick definition of it so we understood all the parts like what is actually in projectile so first part we got to know any body which moves into dimensional plane is called as projectile second part we got to know even those kind of parts where bomb is dropped and it hits some target that is called as projectile third part some person is throwing out of bazooka and that going that's going to travel like this but this is also kind of projectile the types of projectile are also like this way like just downward motion upward plus downward motion upward plus downward plus horizontal motion is a special kind of projectile motion which we have to study right now right so basically we can give a definition to our projectile now okay i'll share these ppts okay but let me write what is really the projectile so it says that whenever there is a now these are some of the definitions which are not there in the book whenever there is some angle between the particle velocity whenever there is a some angle between the particle velocity and acceleration of the body hari om ji jag gaye ho good good very good then the path followed by the body is parabolic okay then this kind of particle motion is called as projectile motion so see let us see something like let suppose there is a ground okay on this ground i keep the block i keep one block you guys will tell okay i'll not tell anything now you tell me let suppose if the body is given some velocity along this direction okay let suppose this body has mass m hey run the mic man go okay so let suppose this body has mass m and the body have acceleration in the same direction got it so what will be the path of the particle can anyone tell me it will be kind of a linear path or not tell me so no swamya dipu everything dikshita moktika is this is going to be a straight path or not tell me so no. this body will travel in a straight path moktik muskan yahi par ho na good very good so dekho this is which kind of a path a straight path a straight or linear path isn't it when what happens when this velocity and acceleration means if you take a vector dot v vector then the angle between them is always how much zero so that is when the body will follow only which kind of a path a straight path means theta between let's suppose i i define one quantity called as theta which is the angle between acceleration vector and velocity vector and if this theta is exactly equal to 0 then only my straight or linear path i will get are able to get me but what if the velocity our velocity makes some angle with acceleration then the path is not a straight line if if you look over here when i take the velocity with acceleration and if i take their dot product or something like that we find that this time this is not a straight path which kind of path it is 
it is a kind of a path which we call it as parabolic what kind of path i will get parabolic so if theta is not equal to 0 then the path obtained by equation ha huh, then the path obtained by the particle is a parabolic path and that's why we call these kind of path as projectile motion or projectile path are you able to get me or not so what is a projectile motion it is a motion when the path of the particle is parabolic and when the velocity of the particle makes a angle theta with the acceleration vector such that the acceleration vector or velocity vector does not makes zero angle are you able to get me that's the real definition is this clear so ma so yes so this is the point this is what i told you ha ah, bolo ye dekh ye downward motion totally projectile nahi hai so ma this downward motion is not but it is a kind of projectile we consider it because here we are considering that the angle between the velocity and acceleration is also zero so it's not a it's not a projectile because projectile means a parabolic path but it's kind of a projectile because we can consider it as a special case when the theta of the particle is zero are you able to get me or not so it's it's a, a special case of projectile you can study got it clear huh? so so remember whenever basically always remember that whenever theta is equal to 0 or 180 the particle's path is always a straight line okay and whenever the particle path theta is not equal to 0 the path particle path is parabolic and that is called as projectile motion so what we will do that will the equations of motion which will be utilized in the parabolic path will be written means we'll consider it jaise ki hamare paas maloom hai ki velocity is equal to kya hota hai initial velocity plus acceleration into time hota hai ki nahi hota so i am just going to convert this all the equation of motion as vector equation of motion because in projectile as we have uh, different different motions horizontal motion vertical motion everything so this is why we need to consider it as a vector part are you able to get me so similarly our displacement vector will be written as u vector t plus ha a vector t square hari om ji samajh mein aaya kya aapko clear hai chetna devaki lalita is this clear maitri pranavi is this clear ये लोग यहीं पर अलाइव ना नॉट डेड ना गुड ओके तो ध्यान से सब सो रहा है ना सौम्या जगे हो ना हाँ जगे रहो अगर ऐसा कभी हो तो अपने टेबल वगैरह पे बैठ के आराम से इसको कंप्लीट करते जाओ क्योंकि बहुत अच्छी कंटेंट देने वाला हूँ ठीक है तो ध्यान से देखो अपन के पास ये दूसरा इक्वेशन ऑफ मोशन हो गया थर्ड इक्वेशन ऑफ मोशन इज बी वेक्टर स्क्वायर अब देखो इफ आई टेक अ वेक्टर स्क्वायर इट्स जस्ट अ नॉर्मल स्केलर बॉडी गॉइड ऑन सो बी स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू यू स्क्वायर प्लस ट्वाइस एक्सेलरेशन डॉट डिस्प्लेसमेंट याद रखो वी यूज इन दिस मोशन डॉट प्रोडक्ट बिटवीन एक्सेलरेशन एंड डिस्प्लेसमेंट बिकॉज बोथ आर वेक्टर क्वांटिटीज एंड दे आर इन मल्टीप्लिकेशन बट वी नीड टू कंसीडर अ स्केलर काइंड ऑफ थिंग आर एबल टू गेट मी ऑन नाउ नाउ लेट्स सपोज इफ आई ब्रेक दिस होल इक्वेशन ऑफ मोशन इनटू टू पार्ट्स ओके मोशन अलोंग एक्स एक्सिस एंड मोशन अलोंग वाई एक्सिस गॉट इट so i can break this whole equation of motion into two parts like velocity along x will be equal to motion initial velocity along x x t so remember that whenever i use x axis then all the quantities must be taken along x axis got it or not so jaise ye displacement maan lo x axis ki taraf maan liya to initial velocity x into time t plus half a x t square if this is along x axis so v square x is equal to 
ux square plus x twice x into displacement along x. Similarly, if I take y axis calculation, so v of y is equal to uy plus ayt plus if I just write displacement equation along y, so it is equal to initial velocity along y time t plus half acceleration along y into t square plus velocity along y square is equal to initial velocity along y square plus twice <coughs> acceleration along y displacement along y. So, मतलब मेरा कहने का मतलब यही है कि whenever you get the x axis or y axis calculation, break your whole equation of motion, whole everything into two parts. One is along x axis, another one is along y axis. Why or not? तो अपन ने आज बहुत कुछ सीखा, बहुत कुछ सीखने का मतलब है कि अपन ने types of projectile समझा, उसके बाद what is the reality of projectile and third thing कि equation of motion. Now let us talk about projectile. Let us talk about one best part uh, one minute let me delete this space okay okay so let us talk about now our projectile part void or not is this clear guys jindao sir usko bolo okay बहुत चलिए तो अब आगे बढ़ते हैं कितना आ गया इतना देर बाद आया मतलब वो पूरी कहानी खत्म हो जाता है फिर ढूंढने आता है किसी का किसका बाप है ना तो ध्यान से देखो तो व्हाट इज प्रोजेक्ट टाइम इन रियलिटी एज आई टोल्ड यू द वेलोसिटी एंड एक्सेलरेशन व्हेन मेक्स अम एंगल थीटा देन इट इज कॉल्ड एज Project time. So let us take one example. Like let's suppose. Oh, one minute. Sorry. <coughs> this is x-axis, and this is y-axis. Okay. Now, I took one particle, which has some mass. Got it? And then. I throw that particle with some initial velocity u, making angle theta with the horizontal. Now imagine, a big bad thought. If this particle is in air over here, I didn't kept any engine. Engines are not there, got it or not? Means whatever force you applied, you applied over here. So everyone will tell, tell me if this is my particle over here, and without engine, means this particle comes over here. And it has without engine. So, where does it will feel the force? Upward or downward or horizontal, right or left? Where this particle will feel the force? Tell me. At this point in the air. बताओ ये particle का कहाँ पे force feel करेगा? Downward, horizontal, vertical, leftward किधर जाएगा ये body? कहाँ पे force feel करेगा? डाउनवर्ड्स डाउनवर्ड्स ना यस एवरीवन क्योंकि बेसिकली यू ओनली से मी जब भी यू कैन यू कैन यू कैन थिंक लाइक दिस वे दैट व्हेन एवर अ पार्टिकल इज थ्रोन सर आई कैन इमेजिन दैट व्हेन इट इज इन द एयर इट ऑलवेज कम्स डाउन बिकॉज़ देयर आर नो इंजंस ओवर देयर इन द स्पेस वर्ड ऑर नॉट सो व्हेन देयर इज नो इंजन द पार्टिकल इज फीलिंग अ डाउनवर्ड फोर्स दैट मींस समथिंग इज अट्रैक्टिंग टुवर्ड्स अर्थ एंड दैट इज कॉल्ड एज ग्रेविटी दैट इज कॉल्ड एज व्हाट ग्रेविटी और जिसको हम डिनोट करते हैं माइनस जी मीटर पर सेकेंड स्क्वायर के साथ आर यू टू गेट मी नॉट वेस्ट इट इज क्लियर कितना दूर तक क्लियर है हाँ एंड वेर जी इज इक्वल टू टेन मीटर पर सेकेंड स्क्वायर आर यू टू गेट मी सो पॉइंट ये है कि अब ध्यान से देखो तो दिस इज माई इनिशियल वेलोसिटी एंड दिस इज माई एक्सेलरेशन डज दे मेक सम एंगल थीटा और नॉट अरे ये सॉन्ग so that means that what will happen over here the particle will have definitely a which kind of a trajectory a parabolic trajectory and that see that is why we are going to call this motion as projectile motion are you able to get me or not is this clear guys anyone can you speak somya 
Mamukta, Mamukta, any kind of. Okay. So, what we got to know that when the initial velocity of the particle makes some angle theta with the acceleration, then we have this is called as projectile motion. So, with this idea only, let us move on to the next point and let us understand what are the conditions. Now, you see, when I consider a projectile, so let us let us understand over here. So when I consider a projectile, if this is initial velocity u and this is theta, can you tell me that this this velocity will have some component along horizontal and will have some component along vertical element? Tell me as Attached side is u cos theta and vertical side is u Okay. Now let me let me mark two things horizontal motion vertical motion not loose motion yes ketan kaisa hai jinda hai good so ab dhyan se there is a horizontal motion and vertical motion so you got to know that yes sir I am calling horizontal motion as along x axis and vertical motion as along y axis. So I can write now that sir there is an initial velocity along horizontal and that is called as ux and that is equal to how much? u sin theta? Yeah u cos theta. Uh, then I have initial velocity along vertical that is u sin ये हो गया ना ये है वर्टिकल ये है हॉरिजॉन्टल तो अपने को वो वर्टिकल का मिल गया हॉरिजॉन्टल का मिल गया अब एक चीज मैं देखना चाहता हूं इन हॉरिजॉन्टल डायरेक्शन व्हाट इज द एक्सेलरेशन व्हाई नो बाबा हां देखो इसीलिए इसीलिए कंफ्यूजन होता है भाई just remember, are you putting any engine? You are not putting any engine. There is no engine on the particle. And you look over here, talk about the force on the particle. Basically, if I throw the particle from here, there is no engine. The body starts to feel the force downwards on. In a horizontal direction, there is no such force. So if there is no such force along the horizontal direction, who the hell will create the acceleration? No one will create the acceleration. So that is why acceleration of the particle is always zero along horizontal. Are you able to get more? Yes, clear. Now, when I talk about acceleration along vertical, which is a y, and that is always same minus v meter per second. Are you able to get me? And as remember, every downward calculation is negative, upward calculation is positive, right calculation is positive, left calculation is negative. Are you able to get me? Now. Now let us talk about one of the most important thing. Imagine, let's suppose my particle is over here. This particle will have some x comma y coordinate or not. Yes. Yes or no. Then I'll I'll, I'll ask one thing. Pranavi, are you here? Pranavi. Nitisha, Pranami is alive, right? Koi host me nahi? Chetna? Sab thoo rahe hain. Mokte ka aru hi hai? Koi baat hai, koi baat hai. Sohn rahe hain. Mokte ka? Aru hi Okay, okay. So, my point is very very simple. Ek baal ta. If this particle is at this x y coordinate, now tell me, this x and y coordinate is attained means I'm asking you one thing. Let's suppose if this x coordinate x coordinate is traveled in time t. So how much time it will take for the particle to travel y coordinate also? Tell me. It will take same time. It will take same time or what? Confirm. Confirm. Question arises that 
yes sir as you know that the particle has came over here and particle basically this is not two particles it is only a, always a single particle yes so whatever is my x coordinate over here which is traveled in time t the same time y coordinate is also traveled but that t in upward direction why it or not so this is my y coordinate okay and this is my x coordinate samajh mein aa rahi hai grand और ये जो x x और y दोनों हैं दोनों बोथ ऑफ देम आर ट्रैवल्ड इन सेम टाइम टी अरे ब्लू गेट में सो टाइम ऑफ ट्रैवलिंग इज इक्वल टू टी हियर आल्सो टाइम ऑफ ट्रैवलिंग इज इक्वल टू हाउ मच टी हियर इफ यू लुक ओवर हियर the displacement done let's talk about displacement so in horizontal direction the displacement is x in vertical direction the displacement at that time is how much y is this clear guys perfect theek hai to dekho now we'll we'll, we'll pick up this and write the equation ab ek baat batao yaar itna sara kuch mil hi gaya sab kuch mil chuka hai तो दिक्कत क्या है हमें मालूम है कि इक्वेशन ऑफ मोशन से इज दैट एस इज इक्वल टू यू टी प्लस हाँ पेटी एस पर दिस इज माई नॉर्मल डिस्प्लेसमेंट इक्वेशन और नॉट सो आई कैन राइट ना माई डिस्प्लेसमेंट इक्वेशन ऑफ ईच पार्थ सो फॉर एक्स कॉर्डिनेट एक्स इज इक्वल टू इनिशियल वेलॉसिटी इज यू कॉस थेटा इन टू टाइम टी बट दिस टर्म विल बी जीरो और नॉट बोलो बाला कहा है ना सिमिलरली वाई विल बी वॉट वाई विल बी इक्वल टू This time this will change. We go u sine theta into tan theta minus ha ha plus mar 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 na usko ek tik tik karo. Kich ke mar to sasta nasa karke baitha hai minus half jt. Par aare hold ke tik me ho not. Is it clear? Simple. Just apply whatever you have given. As I told. When you apply this equation along x-axis, consider all the terms of x-axis. When you apply s is equal to u plus half t square along y-axis, consider all the terms along y-axis. You will get this term u cos theta t half. क्या कैसे displacement along y-axis तुम्हारा zero है अर्धम प्रोजेक्टाइल देखो यही 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 कंफ्यूजन क्लियर करो प्रोजेक्टाइल सिर्फ एक एक्सिस पर नहीं होता है प्रोजेक्टाइल का मतलब ये है कि पैराबोलिक पाथ ऐसा नहीं है कि प्रोजेक्टाइल इज ऑलवेज अलॉन्ग एक्स एक्सिस और प्रोजेक्टाइल इज वाई इफ द पार्टिकल ऑलवेज मूव्स अलॉन्ग एक्स एक्सिस दैट इज अ स्ट्रेट लाइन मोशन इफ अ पार्टिकल ऑलवेज मूव अलॉन्ग वाई एक्सिस दैट इज अट्रेट लाइन मोशन But if it is a combined path x and y, then it is a projectile motion. So clear your mind first of all that projectile is not about this straight path. Projectile is about this path which the particle is taking, which I am marking right now. Are you able to get me or not? This path is this is a straight line. Kedan, no, it's not a straight line. It's a parabola. Why or not? So this is why remember a projectile is something which follows a parabolic path and which has a curvilinear trajectory. Are you able to get me or not? Right now I define. Got it. So whenever there is an angle between velocity and acceleration, the path which is followed is parabolic, and that path is called as projectile motion. Got it or not? So look over here. I can write from this. As I can say that time can be written as x by u cos theta or not. Tell me guys this or not. Now I can replace this time is equal to x is equal to u cos theta into y equation, and what I'll get as y is. Y is equal to u sine theta times by x cos theta minus half g x square by u square cos square theta. You can see that. Sorry. So this u u got cancelled, and I ultimately got a very good equation that y is equal to x tan theta minus half g. X square by u square cos square theta, and this is called as equation of trajectory of the projectile. What is it? I told you na earlier when I was teaching you guys. So 
what was equation of trajectory equation of trajectory was nothing but the equation involving x and y coordinate or not you see that tan theta theta is initially constant g is constant u is constant so these terms are constant but it is the equation of y and x or not so that is why this is called as which equation trajectory trajectory equation इतने आसानी से ट्रेजेक्ट्री इक्वेशन बताया था किसी ने तुम्हें क्लास में इज इट क्लियर अमुक्ता इज दिस क्लियर मोक्ति का मैथ्री इज दिस क्लियर सो कैन यू अंडरस्टैंड नाउ मुस्कान समझ में आ रहा है ललिता इज दिस क्लियर ओके सो दिस इज कॉल्ड एज इक्वेशन ऑफ ट्रेजेक्ट्री नाउ यू सीन यू सी द इक्वेशन ऑफ ट्रेजेक्ट तुम्हें मैंने पैराबोला का इक्वेशन बताया था ना वाई डायरेक्टली प्रोपोर्शनल टू एक्स स्क्वायर इज द इक्वेशन ऑफ पैराबोला और नॉट टेल मी सुनो रिमाइंड टेल मी वाई डायरेक्टली प्रोपोर्शनल टू एक्स स्क्वायर अपवर्ड और डाउनवर्ड पैराबोला अपवर्ड और डाउनवर्ड अपवर्ड पैराबोला वाई डायरेक्टली प्रोपोर्शनल माइनस एक्स स्क्वायर अपवर्ड और डाउनवर्ड यस सो यहां पे ध्यान से देखो दिस इज अ लीनियर इक्वेशन बट दिस इक्वेशन माइनस एक्स स्क्वायर इज प्रोपोर्शनल और नॉट so which kind of parabola it will be this equation shows downward parabola is this is looking like a downward parabola or not tell me yes or no so this is why this equation represents the equation of project are you able to get me confirm yes or no clear ab dhyan se dekho to we defined our particle x y coordinate we defined equation of trajectory we defined displacement along x equation we defined displacement along y equation uh, this equation so this is very very important displacement along x equation and displacement along y equation from this only every kind of calculation of projectile is done nothing else is there in projectile these equations you need to understand next thing you need to understand always that acceleration along horizontal is always zero well the particle feels only acceleration along y which is my Minus g, with a positive end square. Are you able to get me or not? Other than that, there is nothing in the projectile. Got it? You only will tell me now. You only tell me if I say that the one minute. You only say if I consider horizontal motion. Right now I say. You got the equation along horizontal. Main thing is initial velocity is u cos theta. Yes, look over here. Initial velocity is u cos theta. Vertical velocity is u sin theta. Okay. Acceleration along horizontal is how much? Zero. And x is given as u cos theta into time t. Yes, at any time t, at any random time t. Now, Balak, you only tell me if acceleration along horizontal is zero. What is the meaning of that? velocity where 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 velocity will be constant yes it uh -huh. it means that all the velocities the velocities along horizontal will always remain constant the velocity along horizontal will always remain always remain constant this means that any point i select any point i select over here everywhere my horizontal velocity is always same isn't it how much is that u cos theta here also here also here at when it hits the ground here also here also everywhere the particle has same <coughs> horizontal velocity and that is u cos theta then which velocity actually changes my vertical velocity of the particle will change isn't it so look over here And you see, v x always, this v x everywhere. When I consider this point also, it's same. This v x is also how much u cos theta. So I can write it. This v x is equal to how much u cos theta. Here also, this v x is equal to u cos theta. Here also, this v x is equal to u cos theta. So what is basically changing? Our y component of the velocity is always changing, or not? Tell me, yes or no? So now, 
if i look into so if i look into y component of the velocity if i consider vertical motion so in vertical motion you have ux sorry ui u sin theta acceleration is not zero acceleration is minus g sorry so are you able to see how i am writing i am not writing uh, some equations or something like that i am i am writing first the components along vertical and horizontal and you see me what i'm doing i'm always breaking my whole project into two parts horizontal and vertical motion so whenever you get confused and you want to study by yourself then always break the projectile into two parts horizontal and vertical and write the components you will definitely understand what is actually happening here y equation was given as displacement along y was given as u sin theta t minus half gt theek hai ab dhyan se dekho to as i got my u i can also get my final velocity along y equation or not can i apply v is equal to u plus at so that is u y acceleration along y into time t guys is this clear or not and i want to find velocity along y that is what u y you know that u sin theta and a y is minus g so minus g into time t so at any random time t this velocity along y is provided by equation what is that equation you got to know right now that is u sin theta minus gt is this clear or not guys tell me yes or no so you at any random time any random time you take it it is vy is exactly equal to u sin theta minus gt but x component is always same u cos theta so whenever you get a question do not break your u cos theta u cos theta is always same just you need to find y component at that time and you get your net velocity why or not so look over here if if these particles are over here ultimately there is a resultant velocity and then there is a resultant position vector of the particle also or not tell me sir what is position vector of the particle basically when we join the particle with the origin that is called as position vector so this is my position vector r vector tell me yes or no so right now we can can we create our position vector what is position vector formula x i cap plus y z cap what is x over here u cos theta into time t i cap plus u sin theta minus half j t square j cap formula yahi par ho na Soumya, भाग गई, भाग नहीं, okay, then ultimately at this point the velocity resultant velocity vector is also there. Around. so resultant velocity vector how to find it once again it will be velocity along x i cap plus velocity along y z cap so vx kya nikala tumne tumhe malum hai ki velocity along x always not changes that is u cos theta i cap plus velocity along y always changes that is u sin theta minus gt j cap kya meri baatein aap sabko clear hai is this clear गाइस तो देखो अपन ने डिराइव किया हाउ टू राइट द पोजीशन वेक्टर हाउ टू राइट द वेलोसिटी वेक्टर यू कैन आल्सो थिंक यू कैन आल्सो डू वन थिंग इफ यू जस्ट नो द पोजीशन वेक्टर देन वेलोसिटी वेक्टर इज सिंपली dr वेक्टर बाय dt यू कैन आल्सो चेक लाइक दैट वे तो अगर अपने पास टाइम डिपेंड इक्वेशन मिल जाता तो दिस इज माय होल प्रोजेक्टाइल इक्वेशन फर्स्ट डिस्प्लेसमेंट अलोंग x एक्सिस like what is this x coordinate over here isn't it i am trying to find this x coordinate then displacement along y axis what is my y coordinate over here that is given by u sin theta because this particle is over here and this x y must be attained in some time t and both of the x and y coordinate are traveled in same time why do now 
initial velocity along x not changes because there is no acceleration along horizontal so it it is always going to remain same by while the vertical motion always changes and that's why we write the formula u sin theta minus ut so now at this time i can write the position vector of the particle and velocity vector of the particle position vector is u cos theta i cap plus u sin theta minus half gt square j cap well the velocity vector is u cos theta i cap plus u sin theta minus ut j cap is this clear to everyone confirm dikshita clear pranavi okay so hasvika is here or what hasvika is this clear is there or not i don't know now so this is whole projectile so nothing else is there in projectile this was all about projectile what if is this clear guys okay so bas yahi chahiye tha तो देखो मतलब तुम्हें क्या करना है मैंने कुछ किया नहीं है मैं कोई ऐसा कुछ नहीं है कि मतलब बहुत कुछ तो पड़ा है मैंने बस प्रोजेक्ट टाइल को उनके दो भागों में बांट दिया एक तो हॉरिजॉन्टल का एक वर्टिकल का और जैसे ही हॉरिजॉन्टल वर्टिकल को मैंने आई जस्ट डिवाइडेड इट आई जस्ट गॉट एवरी काइंड ऑफ कंटेंट लाइक आई गॉट द हाउ टू राइट द डिस्प्लेसमेंट हाउ टू राइट द वेलासिटी ऑल दिस काइंड ऑफ थिंग्स वॉट ऑफ वॉट इट सो लेट एस डू वन क्वेश्चन बेस्ट ऑन दिस okay let suppose i project a particle this is x y with a speed 20 meter per second at an angle of 53 degree from origin 0 0 okay question is very simple find first the initial velocity wait initial velocity in x comma y direction second speed of the particle at t is equal to 1 second third displacement of particle in first second as you know i'll make you i'll make my questions twist and turn this is my question right tab tak main thoda sa kuch element kha leta hu yes correct da jaldi ja Twelve y cap plus six z cap. Yes, correct. That is also correct. But that is velocity or not? What is the speed? Or log. Sab saan bata muskan. Calculate kariye. Amukta mokti ka. do the calculation hari om ji sona nahi hai so gaya na lal kar dega hum tumhe chetna jagi ho chetna ne bola matlab aaj to mauka mila ha wo so gayi ho fix ho gayi hai हम्म 
रूट वन नाइनटी चेक करो शायद कैलकुलेशन मिस्टेक है चलिए तो हम बनाते हैं अरे इसमें इसमें क्या है ये तो हाँ रूट वन एटी आया दिपेश केतन बना बनाओ बना क्यों नहीं रहे हो सो इनिशियल वेलोसिटी अलोंग एक्स सो इनिशियल वेलोसिटी अलोंग एक्स एंड वाई इज व्हाट सिंपल अलोंग एक्स इट इज ट्वेंटी कॉस फिफ्टी थ्री एंड हियर इट इज ट्वेंटी साइन फिफ्टी थ्री रिमेम्बर दैट ट्राइंगल ना डू यू रिमेम्बर और नॉट हाउ टू फाइंड कॉस फिफ्टी थ्री एंड साइन फिफ्टी थ्री इफ दिस इज अ राइट एंगल ट्राइंगल एंड दिस एंगल इज थर्टी सेवन अपोजिट स्टार्ट विथ थ्री फोर एंड फाइव एंड देन दिस एंगल इज फिफ्टी थ्री सो कॉस फिफ्टी थ्री इज वॉट बेस बाई हाइपोटेज दैट इज थ्री बाई फाइव सो इन फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन वेलॉसिटी लॉन्ग हॉरिजोटल इज यू एक्स दैट इज ट्वेंटी कॉस फिफ्टी थ्री इट इज ट्वेंटी इंटू सो ये ट्वेल्व हो जाएगा ना ट्वेल्व मीटर पर सेकेंड Velocity along y, hmm, that is twenty. So sine fifty three क्या हो जाएगा? Perpendicular four by five. Twenty into that is sixteen meter per second. Got it. Now second question it is asking about the speed, but I need to first find the velocity vector. We right now got to know that velocity vector at sir any time. Horizontal velocity remains same, which is u cos theta i cap. But vertical velocity is u sin theta minus g t j cap. इसको रट्टा मत मारो, एकदम मतलब समझो, ये velocity कभी change नहीं होगी, ये time के साथ change होगी, b is equal to u plus a d के साथ, okay? So look over here. U cos theta is what? Right now we calculated 12 y cap. U sin theta अभी calculated किया, that is 16 minus g is 10. And time t is one second, isn't it? Because I'm asking his speed at one second. So what is this? Twelve i cap plus six j cap. That is my velocity vector. What is his speed? His speed is nothing but the magnitude of velocity vector or not? Simple. Here its magnitude is what? How to find the magnitude of any vector quantity? X square component plus y square component. Yes. So this gives me how much? Root under. 144 plus 36 that is root under 180 meter per second. Is this clear on? Last thing, displacement of the particle A. My. Last thing, displacement of particle in per second. What is meaning by per second? पहले second. दो मतलब n की वैल्यू कितनी है वन और n माइनस वन कितना हो जाएगा जीरो होगा कि नहीं होगा बताओ जरा तो जैसे अपन ने वो क्वेश्चन किया था ना डिस्प्लेसमेंट इन एन एच सेकेंड याद है डिस्प्लेसमेंट इन एन एच सेकेंड वट वॉज दैट डिस्प्लेसमेंट इन एन सेकेंड माइनस डिस्प्लेसमेंट इन एन माइनस वन दिस इज दैट क्वेश्चन सो वेन एवर यू गेट फर्स्ट सेकेंड थर्ड या टी वाला टर्म सो दैट इज डिस्प्लेसमेंट इन एन एच सेकेंड So third case, displacement in per second. What is the reality in this? What is the displacement of particle in per second? That is simple. If I find out, so displacement in per second is simply displacement in total one second minus displacement in zero second or not. Let me write in terms of position vector. So displacement, uh, or let me write. Displacement in position uh, first second is equal to position vector in one second, okay, minus position vector in zero second. Are you able to get me? This is n minus one. What is the what is the position of the particle at zero? Zero comma zero. So this term is actually zero or not? Are you able to get me or not? So just I have to find. Ha ha Hari Om, bolo. Kya hua? तो देखो 
So displacement in another second is position vector. Remember that it is position vector in final one second minus position vector in gap of that initial gap that is zero. So this displacement vector becomes how much? Position vector finally. What is that relation? Right now we learned it. That position vector is given as u cos theta i cap plus u sin theta minus half g square j cap. Because I need to find x and y coordinate both at one second. Got it or not? So position vector ये क्या आ गया? U cos theta into time t i cap plus u sin theta minus half g t square j cap and that is t is equal to one second. इसको कैलकुलेट करो बालक्स कितना आएगा? तो डिस्प्लेसमेंट वेक्टर आया तुम्हारा u cos theta तुमने निकाला हुआ है that is twelve and t is one so ये आ गया twelve y cap plus u sin theta t sorry u sin theta t मेरा हाफ रिटेन t ना sorry u sin theta t okay so u sin theta t is how much u sin theta you calculated sixteen time is one second minus half then one square j cap हरी ओम समझ में आ रही है चीजें तो दिस इज़ फाइव सोलह में से पांच गया कितना एक ग्यारह तो ये कितना है ट्वेल्व आई कैप प्लस एलेवन जी कैप ये आया डिस्प्लेसमेंट वेक्टर अब इसका तुम मॉडलस ले लोगे तो डिस्टेंस बदल जाएगा समझ में आया कि नहीं आया क्लियर है इस दिस क्लियर फॉर एवरीवन मुस्कान अमुक्ता सोमया क्लियर ललिता इस दिस क Okay, so see my point is Moktika alive clear. Okay, so point is very very simple as you saw that every time when I pick up these parts, I'm I'm see I'm not doing anything. Remember that physics is just a understanding concept. Okay, if you understand it, it's always awesome. So, I have come here. तो अपने उखाड़ा मैंने क्या किया जो तुम्हें दिया गया है उसको सिंपल भाषा में प्रयोग किया आई जस्ट यूज सिंपल लैंग्वेज सिंपल रिमेंबर दैट दैट लैंग्वेज सेज दैट द लैंग्वेज इज वेरी 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 क्लियर दैट फर्स्ट डिवाइड एवरी पार्ट ऑफ प्रोजेक्टाइल इनटू टू पार्ट्स हॉरिजॉन्टल वर्टिकल इफ यू डिवाइड इनटू हॉरिजॉन्टल एंड वर्टिकल यू नो एवरीथिंग देन इफ आई नो हॉरिजॉन्टल एंड वर्टिकल द पार्टिकल अटेंड्स एक्स कोऑर्डिनेट एंड वाई कोऑर्डिनेट एट टाइम डी I wrote those equation x coordinate and y coordinate by writing what is given in horizontal and what is given in vertical. Then I know that particle also attains velocity at that time. I can write with that also with the help of all these coordinate system. Is that clear? So every time whenever you get a question, remember that you have horizontal part projectile motion means horizontal part of projectile motion, vertical part of projectile motion, and write like that way. Got it? Now. Let us understand one more concept, and that first concept is called as. Let me write this term. U sine theta. Okay. Okay. What I think, तुम I think for you guys projectile has been completed now in the classes. अल्लाह. तुमसे बोलना थोड़ा अच्छे से पढ़ाएँ. अच्छा कैसा लग रहा है क्लास अभी मजा आ रहा है आर आर यू एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस थिंग्स हाउ इज इट मौके का इज दिस क्लियर भाई पता है यहाँ पे भी बच्चे फैन हो गए हैं पता है जो मेरा सीनियर था जो उन बच्चों को पढ़ा रहा था ना उसको बोला कि आप एक काम कीजिए जो यहाँ का मेन डायरेक्टर है कि आप एक काम कीजिए आप थोड़ा बैठ जाइए अनुराग को आपकी सारी क्लासेस हैंडल करने दीजिए क्योंकि फिजिक्स में मार्क्स नहीं आ रहा है आप एक थोड़ा हाँ क्या क्या हाँ अरे यार वो सब छोड़ वो सब वो सब बात अरे ए ए भाई अरे भाई सुनो मैं मेरे को पढ़ाने दो 
इन सब चीजों पे डिस्कशन मत करो कौन कहा गया वहां पे जब तुम्हें सिचुएशन के हिसाब से वहां पे भी ढलना है तुम्हें जिसकी भी क्लास अच्छी लगे तुम जाके अटेंड करो दैट्स माय पॉइंट वर्ड और नॉट वहां पे अभी तुम्हारा तुमने पैसा इतना दिया है इसका मतलब ये नहीं है कि तुम अनुराग सर अनुराग सर अनुराग नहीं भाई तुम्हारा काम है पढ़ना तुम पढ़ने आए वहां पर समझ आया सो वेर एवर अरे तुम मत बंद मारो कुछ तो सुना करो अरे यार श्री राम को क्यों नहीं ऐड करते ग्रंथ इसमें तो अरे नहीं जगाया कर जगाया कर तू जग जाता है ना तो उसको जगाया कर है ना और उसको नहीं नहीं उसको बोला कर ठीक है तो उसको कल से बोलो अनुराग सर ने बोला है ठीक है अपन भाई टॉप टेन में घुसेंगे फिक्स है ऐसा थोड़ी ना चल जाएगा चल रहा अब देखो पढ़ाई पे ध्यान दीजिए तब सिस्टम फाड़ पाएंगे वरना फिर लुढ़क जाएंगे है ना हाँ बोल ठीक है ठीक है तो बस थोड़ा सा लास्ट बचा है रास्ते में देख लो हेडफोन लगा के बाद में लिख लेना अब देखो लास्ट पार्ट विच आई वॉन्ट टू टॉक रियली एंड आई थिंक यू माइट है and that is called as what time of light yes what is the meaning of this word can you tell me hmm 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 so what happens in that time to kuch to change hota hoga means something physical some something physical quantity velocity change hoti hai to dhyan se dekhiye time of light dekho definition to tumne bahut acche se padha sir time of light means that time time for which the particle is in air yaar tum logo yaar main bahut miss karta hu yaar ye aniska wagera kahan gayi un logo bolo classmate lalita bolna to class attend kare matlab chunnu munnu do the hain aniska ho jaswani ardam ladai udhar idhar abhinav hari om amukta mauktika dheeraj and all ओके गाइस बट गॉड हैज सम अनदर चॉइस बट आई विल मिस यू गाइस ऑलवेज चेतन तो भाई है ग्रंथ भी जिंदा है ध्यान से देखो चलो लेट्स नॉट गेट इमोशनल फुल्स लेट्स वर्क ऑन द फिजिक्स सो टाइम ऑफ लाइट मींस टाइम फॉर व्हिच द पार्टिकल इज इन एयर बाय पार्टिकल इज इन एयर फ्रॉम हियर टू हियर एज इट हिट्स द ग्राउंड इट्स नॉट इन एयर now i ask you that what is really happening in to if i consider a time of light means if i just change i am representing let us let us represent something let us represent this time of light by capital t so means when a small t changes to capital t that's my time of light isn't it now look over here i ask you one thing take ek baat batana beta हाँ तिवारी पूरी कहानी खत्म हो गई तब आप ज्वाइन करो ठीक है अब ध्यान से देखो वट इज रियली द टाइम ऑफ लाइफ सो एक बात होता बालक मैंने कंसिडर टू पोजिशन ऑफ द पार्टिकल जैसे मान लो ये दोनों पोजिशन है ओके okay? ये ऊपर गया ये प्लस वाई है और ये क्या है माइनस वाई basically this is the upward motion and this is the downward motion so this is plus y and this is minus y so when i add this displacement what is the total displacement zero or tell me as so. you know 
yes yeah so what happens that when i consider this whole time of life see here it is plus y here it is minus y here it is plus y here it is minus y here it is plus y here it is minus y here it is plus y here it is minus y plus y minus y when break as the particle goes from ground and returns from the ground what happens in the time of flight is the total vertical displacement becomes zero what is my vertical displacement total y is how much zero someone might run mic off cut So, total vertical displacement is how much zero so as you know our y equation was what u sin theta t minus half j t square so if i consider time of flight means when a small t changes to capital t ah to ye kya ho jayega zero ye ho gaya u sin theta a small t changes to capital t minus half j capital t square to main isko likh sakta na kya likh sakta u sin theta t Is equal to half g capital T square T T cancel. So we get the formula T ka, and that is called as time of flight, which is equal to two u sine. What is u sine theta? U sine theta is basically vertical velocity law y direction. It is two u y upon g. That's the formula of total time of flight. Are you able to get me or not? And this time of flight means what? The time for which the particle is in air. Are you able to get me? So the answer, dear. And second, can you? हाँ, ये total time है. जिसके लिए वो particle air में. और इसी को तो time of flight बोलेंगे. ठीक है. अब the answer, dear. तो ये वही time है. This is that time in which. This whole range R is covered or not? ये रेंज आर तब कवर हो रहा है ना जब ये टोटल टाइम ऑफ लाइट खत्म हो रहा है कि नहीं जैसे ही पार्टिकल ग्राउंड पर हिट कर दिया देन माई टाइम स्मॉल टी चेंजेस टू वॉट कैपिटल टी एंड इन दैट ओनली द रेंज इज कवर्ड और नॉट सो दिस इज वॉट आई एम सेंग दिस इज दैट टाइम इन विच द रेंज आर इज कवर्ड अब रेंज आर इज इन हॉरिजोंटल पाथ और नॉट मीन्स इन टोटल टाइम ऑफ लाइट इफ टी चेंजेस टू कैपिटल टी The another conclusion is first y is zero, second thing x changes to capital R, which is called as range. Are you able to get me or not? अरे बोल वाला भी सही है ना. So therefore, I can write my range equation as I have the x equation. X is equal to u cos theta into capital T. So I can have the range equation. X changes to R if I consider total time of flight. So u cos theta into this. Small t changes to capital T. Capital T you right now find out that is u sine theta into z. So I can write this as what u cos theta is initial velocity along x. U sine theta is initial velocity along y. So I can write this as also two u x u y upon z. Another formula can be written as as two sine theta into cos theta is sine two theta. This can be also written as u square sine two theta upon z. So to me range of formula malum chal gaya. टोटल टाइम ऑफ फ्लाइट का फॉर्मूला मालूम चल गया व्हाट इज टोटल टाइम ऑफ फ्लाइट टाइम इन व्हिच द पार्टिकल हिट्स द ग्राउंड और टाइम फॉर व्हिच द पार्टिकल इज इन एयर इन व्हिच इफ आई कंसीडर टोटल टाइम ऑफ फ्लाइट वर्टिकल डिस्प्लेसमेंट बिकम्स टोटली जीरो एंड इफ आई कंसीडर टोटल टाइम ऑफ फ्लाइट x बिकम्स टोटली इक्वल टू रेंज r आर यू एबल टू गेट मी ऑन सो वाज दिस रियली हार्ड नो दिस इज नॉट हार्ड दिस इज जस्ट अ सिंपल सिंपल कांसेप्ट्स व्हिच आई एम अप्लाइंग एंड व्हिच यू नीड टू राइट इट इज दिस क्लियर Got it? Yes, Confirm. So that's that's what you want to do. Nothing. You do not have to fear like uh, what will happen, what is going to happen. Nothing like that. This is a simple thing, simple calculations. Is this clear? Now you can now you can deduce your formula tomorrow. We'll start this once again. But tomorrow, like you can you can see that maximum height. You only see this maximum height is attained attained in half of the total time of flight or. and that will be my vertical displacement so this vertical displacement y is equal to h max is in what half of the total time of flight so you can apply in the vertical displacement equation uh, half of total time of flight and try to find the maximum height equation that's your task prove it got tum prove karo bhai tum prove karo bolo na chalo to itna to clear samajh mein aaya ki nahi hai 
ठीक है तो अभी अब बस जाके मैं डीपीपी भेज दूंगा उसको बनाना कल अपन कंडीशन लेने वाले हैं कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री एंगल का मैक्सिमम रेंज का ठीक है इज इज क्लियर